Good push, good. Remember, Ruth, some feel from here. Okay. Like this, yeah? Yeah. But it, okay. Yeah, good. Ah, good, good. Make sure watch the right hand. So here, that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, perfect. Good. Boom. Okay. One, yeah. two, three, four. Yeah. Da. Have Thank a show. You. Practice. Thank you. Uh, I get in around seven, and then I teach you to do what you just saw me doing. Three moves per person per day day after day after day after day and then I get my workout in in between then and then all the business meetings um, and organizing everybody else around the country kind of just fits kind of just fits into the side of that the uh, underhook on and let's say that Kyle's under here oh, I'm sorry there we go yeah, so what you want to do is as he's tight like that is turn. The more you can turn, the better off you'll be. And get that thumb. There you go. Once you're right there, it doesn't matter where his head is. Because as you're doing that and you kick away, you're going to create that space between the hip. There. Nice. 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 And remember with this, you're always primarily rocking them up because everybody, as soon as you get this, is going to put their hips down the way you, exactly the way you're doing there. So what you want to do primarily is get the lock like this. I remember this one. You remember? Okay, good. Well, we're going to practice it again. Yeah. Pull them into you, kick them out, hold, drop that to the back, and off they go. You should remember that one. Nice. Per oh, man. That transition on the feet, Joey, is amazing. But once you realize you're going down, just placing it there. Only when you realize it. Fight it tooth and nail. To realize, there it is. Now suck the knees in there and push the hips. Yeah, that's it. Good. That's it. Good. Butt up. That's it, Joey. That butt up saves the day. It takes away his entire pull. Okay, so one, two, three on that butterfly. That's all I want you guys thinking about. And if you can get the under over, that's great too. That's all I want you thinking about, boys. Three things a day. Gentlemen, no worries. <laughs> mm. I should give you a tour of my office. So, you guys familiar of all, with all these guys, right? So this is my wall of teachers. These are the guys that taught me everything I know. That's Sir Ernest Shackleton, the leader of uh, the first crew that was going to walk across the Antarctic continent. But unfortunately, this is what happened to his boat. You can see the French at the, the agony of the endurance at the bottom there. And um, yes, Jules? Your wall is not in your car. Are you kidding me? Did you take it out at home yesterday, maybe? No, I paid for... Um, bagels today with it this morning. Did you look? Maybe it's all the way in the cooler thing? I didn't look at the cooler. That's the only thing I can think of, or else I lost my wallet, and that is not, really not good. When shit hits the fan, that guy is a genius. I wish you could find my wallet for me. <laughs> Ernie, where is it? Tell me. Um, could be in my bathroom. Hold that thought. <laughs> so everybody, including Robbie, has that split stance thing they're doing on the cage. Yeah. So we're here, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna have you wedge this in and displace the weight this way. And what I want you to do is just practice getting it back and forth using this as the fulcrum. So in other words, it just for drilling purposes, and they're gonna stand tall to stop it, but just uh, for right now, just put your hand on the ground. So when you, there you go. No, you can bring it back up. So when you feel this, this when you're feeling this, and you're going for this high crotch, just putting that hand to stop you. And then I'm gonna have you pull back up like this. And just feel this displacement here. You feel that, how I'm yeah. going back and forth laterally. Yeah. That's right there, good. Bring it back, good. And like you're keeping your head high in the chest. That's very important for this one. Okay, so first we're gonna do the least likely of the three, and that's when they actually do put that hand down. Most likely they're gonna stand tall to prevent their weight being shifted that way. Does that make sense? Pick. Yes. But when you ankle pick, make sure, you're gonna have to watch that triangle. Make sure that you're in Bobby's the- triangle. <laughs> Anyway. As soon as I feel the weight transfer kind of pick, or do I have to wait for the No, it's, you can feel it. You can feel it. But again, most of the time, they're not going to let that transfer happen. He's going to really stay out doing that. Exactly. But it needs to be a little smoother on that transition and heavier with the chest pressure. So that when you back out of that, I need a little heavier on that chest. You're almost spinning him off, and it's just a little... Yeah, yeah. Turn and then heavy chest pressure on it. But wait till you feel. So once you, you've taken him this way, when you bring him back, all it should take is one step and then everything on that bow. Oh, very respectful. Boom, nice head placement. Now, right there, that was it. 
That was it. Nice, that is good placement there. Look at that, and back. Yes, now you're feeling it. Three things a day. Tomorrow I wanna do three more things. Yeah. You feel all right on the all the outside stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah, like, I think the um, closing the distance thing, I'm feeling really good inside. Good. And on the outside, I'm feeling better. Good, good. Which, not like safe, because you're not safe there. Right. It's still that closing the distance where, you know, the... Boom, yeah, yeah, getting a hit on the outside. It's so important. Perfect. Okay, I well, had three moves today and three moves tomorrow. No questions, you feel good about that. Everything on the ground, you feel good about? Yep. Okay, good. Easy cheesy. Yeah. Three a day, three a day. Still looking for my wallet. Okay, I'm pointing. That's all I'm like right Yeah. Ah, uh, All right, thank you, bye. Oh my goodness. Anyway, where were we? Ah, the agony of the endurance. So that's what that is. And he was a genius leader. Like his big thing is his leadership. And what made him a genius was his anti-intuitive approach to leadership. So he had all these guys on the ice for two years and he brought them home alive. And that's them there pulling a boat. And he would do stuff like that just randomly to keep them busy. He understood that more than money, more than anything else, even more than life, you're the, the battle for morale was the important part. Because anything that you do, fighters are so sensitive, people are so sensitive, that any little thing that you can do can have big ramifications. So, and I still learned that lesson today. But, uh, so just learning from him and his leadership and how nothing could break him. He gave up his whole dream to save his men. That's so noble to me. He, had, uh, he was in constant pain all the time uh, at Sadika, and, and, uh, but didn't let it slow him down. And so he's a, he's a huge hero of mine, and, and just in his leadership and in everything that he did. And then right next to him is the f world's first mixed martial artist, even though it was a military mixed martial artist, and that's Chinggis Khan. And from him I learned the organizational stuff. Surround yourself with people that are smarter than you are. Not in there? All right, I'm actually really worried. Uh, where would it be? in your drawer. Um, Cody pulled up and then left. I'm gonna go find him. Wow, it was a good day. Give me one second. <laughs> oh. Julia, just try calling you. Um, can you go to the Einstein Bagels? Yeah. What about the edge? Could you have taken it out when you were at the edge? I guess it could have fallen out there or on the radio station. Maybe in the bag. Where did you throw your bag away from the bagel shop? It wasn't in there, but I don't think. But uh, it was in the trash out front. Um, Einstein bagel on. Because that's the last time I took it out and I saw it. Okay. But I, I remember. I thought I remember putting it back in my pocket. Mm -hmm. If uh, if you can't find it there, I'm gonna have to cancel the credit cards, get another credit card, uh -huh. and my IDs. Mm. ACDC, Megadeth, and Motorhead, and Metallica. Don't judge until you've been working out in the '80s. We call that good music where I'm from. This thing is the hardest machine in here, by far. It's the only thing that'll come close to doing mountain sprints is this thing. You know you're alive. I love it. Oh. Oh. I cramped on that. I'm mad enough to admit it. Whoa! Ah! 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 Yeah!
That's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> uh, so Changus brought the um, all of the good stuff from China and used it against the Europeans and vice versa. And whoever he would always take people in, very very uh, brilliant people. Subdai being the probably the best field general of all time. Um, just an amazing, amazing guy. And then there's George Washington. And what I love about George Washington is his grit. Like he was a great leader. How he kept his army together during Valley Forge and uh, um, right there near Morristown and all those winters that you read about just the suffering they were going through. And they could have left, everyone could have bailed and they kept losing battles. Like you just couldn't break the man. No matter what you did, no matter what you threw at him, you couldn't break him. And I really admire that. And from Lincoln, um, he liked a lot of opposing ideas and considered stuff. He was very, I like his leadership style. He was very mellow, very laid back, but very much in charge, um, which is what I, I try to emulate. Um, and, and he had this uh, uncanny timing of things. Like he knew when to announce what things to have the desired effect. And, and timing is everything when you're dealing with a large organization. And we have an enormous team, not only all the stuff that you see here, but all over. Um, and so, and I'm dealing with so many people that, that all those lessons are really f kind of trained me to deal with something this size and keep it together for the last, whatever it's been, 18 years that it's been kept together. So that's because of him. Okay, so right away, stop, no. stop, stop, right away, go back. Right away, you're entering like this. Okay. Okay, when you enter on your single leg, get a good head pressure and get your ear going like this. Here, and then scoop it up. And so this needs to be very tight pressure there. So my hips don't have to be on your leg? No. To start. It's your head, pre it's your head positioning that's the key. So if you're going here and you're entering, get your head pressure in the right place, then scoop it up. And then I need to feel this. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. That's what I need to feel. Good. Up, pinch. Now step a little forward with your left and big, no, no, a little. There you go, big with the right, chest pressure. Yep. Yeah, there's a girl. Okay, see how there's a lot of space between you and the leg, Julie? Your chest needs to be on her thigh. You understand what I'm saying, Jules? You got it laterally displaced. The same thing I'm having Tim doing. You got it. That single that you got running the pipe is good, but get your hip on the inside of that knee and displace her weight. Good, good. Add a girl. Good job. And now it's just where Jules over and over and over again. And then over here, we have perhaps the most important thing. And this is an existentialist uh, cartoon. And it says, Mom, Dad, I have ennui instead of have pee. And the dad says, Well, you should have made peace with the absurdity of human existence before we started driving. Which I find very funny because me and my brother would argue. And it said, Dad eventually pulled over at a frozen lake, which represented the sublime beauty of impermanence. But he was pretty annoyed about it. And that's to remind myself that every day is one day closer to the dirt. So you gotta go hard. This is what we do. Yeah, Just another day. Gotta get a shit, gotta get my muscles, gotta get my timing, gotta get my shit. Get a lot of time. Let it come on gradually. Yeah, 11 weeks is a lot of time. Yeah. If you did it now, I'd be worried. You'd be overtrained. Let yeah. it come on gradual. Yeah. Don't rush it and remember, so enjoy I it. I teach myself right now is that I'm not out of shape. Right nope. Right exactly. Right. Exactly. I remember to enjoy every part of the process. No, it's not just the end that's the fun. It's getting back in there. It's acquiring new skills. It's doing the stuff we're going to work on today. We're going to do some dirty ass tricks today. Yeah, this is John's second day, so we're just going over some basic framework stuff on game plan specific things today. Um, and then uh, as it gets more and more intense, we'll narrow it down on, on a lot of these fields. But for right now, it's just kind of gross motor skills, getting his timing back, getting his mind flowing in the right way, um, getting him creative again, and uh, kind of putting together a framework within where within we want to work. So it's always a good time when you're an artist. So you, that, your job as the amazing artist that you are is to take that and play with it. Sure. Every time we fight, we need to improve. You understand what I'm right. saying? Like, I can't Go just have you. Right. Exactly. So you need to be balanced so that there's no weaknesses, sure. especially for future fights. There's no weaknesses. Right. And we can set a pace on them, too. I'm going to have you in good shape for this one. So we set a hell of a pace. That's it. That's all I want you thinking about in this moment. So you can get a workout in if you'd like. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on the bags with what we just went over. Perfect. ATV. <laughs> yeah, three of them have fun. And start mixing and matching them, you know what I'm saying? Be the artist you are.
So I have all of these heroes. And the thing that they all have in common is what I talked about Washington. All of these guys were like tested severely, severely. Chengis at one point had, I think it was 12 or 13 guys with him and he was being hunted on a mountain and he had lost everything and, uh, ooh, phone call. Stand by, it might be somebody telling me I don't have my wallet. Let me guess, there's no wallet. No, there is a wallet. Is there really? Yeah, I had her check the chairs where you were sitting up front, and that's where it was. It's there? Yeah. Eric, I'm going to kiss you with a tongue and everything. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. You bet, man. All right, like... <laughs> Victory! Hold on, I just have to bask in the glow of happiness. Oh, what they all hold in common is, just like me today, with the adversity of my wallet being lost, all of them were tested. Of course, obviously he was tested. Uh, that's Ernest Shackleton. Genghis Khan at the brink of defeat, and that's when they say, you know, the sky opened up and he knew he was going to be the conqueror of the entire world. Largest ma la land mass empire ever. And, you know, he went from that, from nothing, from being just down on his knees. And of course, George Washington, just no hope. The French aren't coming, or they, they, they do come, and they just sit around. There's nothing there. He's just, he's died. And Lincoln had probably one of the biggest kind of tests in, in any president has ever had of keeping a country together that was being divided. And just everything, all the heartache that came with that. So all these guys were tested, and they came through with flying colors. And so I want to be like them. I want to emulate that. So when I have things that are real hard on me, and of course I'm nowhere in the league of this, you know what I mean? Not in, not in their league, but I can emulate it. And their genius, each one of their geniuses, not only are they creative leaders, uh, constantly innovating, which is the fun part of martial arts, but they also have that fire in the gut that, that kind of unifies them and makes me admire each and every one of them. So I'm really lucky. That was the end of a very long day. Is that just a day? That's a day. Every day, huh, Jules? That's how we roll, girl. Yo. Day in and day out. My life philosophy is exemplified by an anteater, which is odd, but here it is. You can see he has a big nose just like me, and he's doing his cholo arms just like I used to do, and that's how I look at life. Come at me, comma, bro. Ike? Yeah, even though there's no real comma there. I was just trying to be grammatically correct.